Well, hundreds of thousands of Catalan separatists have been filling the streets of Barcelona, celebrating the region's National Day and calling for the release of its jailed leaders. It comes two years after Catalonia's banned independence referendum and weeks before Spain's Supreme Court is due to deliver verdicts in the trial of 12 separatist leaders. It's also a time of national political crisis in Spain as the acting Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez struggles to form a coalition government. Well, in the studio to discuss this with me is my Spanish colleague, Manuel Terradio. So, Manuel, hundreds of thousands of people on the streets of Barcelona, a politically charged atmosphere, but how can this impact the political process in Spain? Buenas noches. Well, the impact is there because independence of Catalonia is something that the next government in Spain will have to address. And what we're seeing today shows very well the current situation of this pro-independence movement, when they are more or less... Uh, within one month uh, to know something, to, to reach a key point, which will be the sentence of these 12 separatist leaders that are being or have been in trial in the Supreme Court. It shows very well the division we see there. If we speak about figures, and we're going to take the figures of the Guardia Urbana to avoid any kind of controversy, the police of Barcelona. Last year, this celebration, which takes place every year, is the celebration of Catalonia. There were one million people. Their figures uh, for uh, today, it's 600,000. So it's socialist people. Why? Well, the organizers Sam said it themselves. It's lack of political leadership in this uh, pro-independence movement. We've seen uh, uh, how the two main parties are, star are starting to have more and more differences. We have one hand, Esquerra Republicana de Catalunya, Junqueras party, who is in prison. And then we have Junts per Catalunya, who, which is Puigdemont's party. Well, uh, Puigdemont's party and Torra party, they, they are still not ruling out some kind of... Uh, uh, unilateral decision, while Esquerra Republicana de Catalunya, they are more uh, keen into negotiations with the government. So they saw this difference, and this is coming up in a moment where still we have no government. They are negotiating, and any of the two main uh, implicated, which is uh, Pedro Sánchez Popular Party and Unidas Podemos, they have different views somehow. Unidas Podemos, they're still open or more open to some kind of referendum, while Pedro Sánchez doesn't want it at all. But they don't want to say it really clear because they could cost votes. If uh, Unidas Podemos say really clear, we want a referendum, Pedro Sánchez is going to totally rule out any kind of coalition. While Pedro Sánchez, even with Unidas Podemos, will need some kind of support from pro-independence parties to have to be invested as new president or prime minister of Spain. That's why what we are seeing today can have an impact. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but the 20th, uh, 23rd of uh, this month, the parties implicated, they have to show an agreement. If not, we will go to a snap elections. Okay, an ongoing story there. Well, Manuel Terradios, thanks so much.